A jury in Baltimore County is deciding the fate of a 17-year-old accused of killing Officer Amy Caprio. He's accused of burglarizing homes, then running over her with uh, a stolen Jeep. Devin Barlot explains what happened in court today. The jury has been deliberating since right around lunchtime and so far has asked five questions of the court. The most recent being, what happens if we can't reach a unanimous decision? The judge sent them back to deliberate and so far, no verdict yet. Stop! Stop! The haunting body camera Get video that captures Officer Amy Caprio's final moments. Get out of the car! Get out of the car right now! Will not be enough Get to convict her suspected car. killer, 17 year old Dante Harris. Instead, Tuesday in closing arguments, attorneys argued a technicality in convicting first degree felony murder, which hinges on convincing the jury Harris was also involved in a string of burglaries in the neighborhood and was trying to escape from that crime when he ran over Officer Caprio in a stolen Jeep. If they're not convinced beyond reasonable doubt that he was an accomplice on those two burglaries, count one and count two, then the jury instruction says don't even consider felony murder. The law is complicated, but the state argues the facts are clear. Prosecutors brought up fingerprints, photos, and surveillance video evidence from the May 21st burglaries in Perry Hall. They say prove Harris was a willing and ready participant. Assistant State's Attorney Robin Coffin said, quote, to suggest that he's not a primary actor is absurd. But defense attorneys described Harris as oblivious and not serving as a getaway driver, but rather listening to music as three other teenagers he barely knew burglarized multiple homes, saying, quote, he's a dumb kid joyriding with somebody in a nice vehicle, and at one point calling him, quote, basically a baby. In all, Harris faces five charges, including felony murder, burglary, and theft, and his fate is in the jury's hands. It's tough, you know, I mean, it's a highly emotional case, and uh, we ask that they divorce their emotions and just base their decision on the evidence and the law that the judge gives them. Both sides asking for a diligent review of the facts and a resolution to the crime that rocked Baltimore County. The two alternate jurors who were released this morning said that they believe this would be a very difficult decision, but wouldn't reveal how they would have voted. Deliberations are expected to continue Wednesday morning. In Towson, I'm Devin Bartolotta for WJZ.